click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so today we are going to do a numerical on a single slit diffraction pattern. Here is a numerical. A slit width of 0.3 mm is illuminated by a light of wavelength 5890 angstroms. A lens with focal length 40 cm is used. Find the distance between first dark and the next bright fringe from the axis. Prior to doing this problem, let us do a little bit of theory in trying to find out the width of the central maxima. Remember that the central maxima is limited by the first minimas on either side. Let us draw a diagram for this particular setup. So here we have the diffraction slit. So we, the slit is present out over here. And here we have the screen. Now he's saying that there is a focal length 40. So let us assume that this the lens is very close placed very close to the slit. This distance is approximately equal to this distance, which is equal to 40 centimeters. You will have a diffraction pattern something like this and this is where you are going to get the first minima and this is going to be the first minima on the other side of the central maxima. So what he has asked is for this distance. So when you are being asked for such a distance out over here and remember this distance is going to remain constant. So even if you are going to consider let us say this one. So this distance, this distance, this distance that is actually going to remain constant. So now what we have is, this is the center, let us draw this line over here and let us draw a line out over here, this angle is theta. We now have for the first minima, the condition is B sin theta is equal to N lambda, so that will simply be equal to 1 into lambda. So B sin theta is equal to lambda wherein B is nothing but the width of the slit which has already been given to you. Theta angle we are assuming is going to be very small and therefore your theta is going to be approximately equal to lambda upon B. If this distance we are measuring it as X for example, so your tan of theta is also equal to X upon this distance which is going to be equal to d and therefore your theta because once again tan theta is approximately equal to theta your theta is going to be equal to x upon d. I now equate these expressions over here when I equate these expressions what I get is the equation that we require I am equating 1 and 2 and therefore I will get x upon d is equal to lambda upon b or your x is going to be equal to lambda d upon b. So with this base I can now find out the distance between the first dark and the next bright fringe from the axis. So this is the expression that will give me the value for that. x is equal to lambda into d divided by b. This is the equation that we have just now obtained. I substitute the values in this above expression and this is what the values are and therefore the value of x turns out to be
So this value turns out to be 0 0.0785 cm, which is the distance between the first dark and the next bright fringe. Sincere thanks students for watching this particular video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda. Thanks a lot.